Good morning, class. Good morning. So today, uh, before anything else, let's pray first. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Before taking your seats, kindly pick up pieces of paper under your chairs and please arrange your chairs. You may now take your seats. Thank you. Uh, today, I will check the attendance first and make sure you are in your assigned seats, okay? As I call your name, please raise your right hand. Bakulyu Junel, Maniscan Rochel, and Juliada Hazel J. Okay, very good. All of you are present today. Now, before we proceed to our new topic, who among the class can still remember our previous topic? Yes, Miss Bakan. Yes, we talk about, we discuss about the planets of the universe. Yes, Miss Rina Lynn, can you name them all? Yes, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Very good, Miss Bakan and Miss Rina Lynn. Today, I have here a two pictures of heavenly bodies. So class, what can you see about this picture? Mr. Janelle, will you describe this uh, sun based on the picture you saw? Yes, it is a ball of fire. What about the earth, Miss Rochelle? Yes, it is a ball of ocean and rocks. So today, I have here a video presentation and I want you to observe and watch the video. What's inside the video, okay? Okay, let's watch. Okay, class, what have you observed about the video that I have presented to you? Yes. Yes, it talks about the sun. So today, we will be dealing with the sun. Our new topic today is the sun. Okay, so here, this is the real picture of our sun. Yes, it is our sun. Our sun formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Yes, you've heard it right. Formed about 4.4 uh, 4.5 billion years ago. Our sun was born on a cloud of dust and gas known as solar nebula collapse. In the middle of its formation, matter condensed into a burning ball of fire or a burning ball of gas. And that became our sun. Our sun is closest to Earth. It is also a star. Our sun is a star. It is the only star in the solar system. It is a giant ball of gas and mostly hydrogen and helium. The sun is always burning. It is so big. It is so giant ball in the solar system. Now, our sun has six layers. Our sun has six layers divided into two regions. The two regions are the inner sphere or the interior part of the sun and the atmosphere. In the inner sphere, they, there are three. The core, the radiative zone, and convective zone. In the atmosphere of the sun, there are also three. They are the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. Now, I have here a, an illustration of the six layers of the sun. So here, let's proceed to the interior part of the sun or the inner, the inner sphere, the core. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's know about the core. So here, this is the core here. And this part is the core. The core is the hottest part of the sun. It is the location of the sun's energy uh, generated by the nuclear fusion. So what is the hottest part of the sun? Yes, the core. Now let's proceed to the radiation zone or radiative zone. So here, here, this is the radiation zone or radiative zone. The radiative zone is of the solar interior is uh, characterized by the process of radiation. Again, the radiation zone is characterized by the process of radiation. So that's the second uh, layer of the interior part of the sun. So let's proceed to the third and last part of the interior region. So now, let's know the convection zone or convective zone. Here, this is the conve convection or convective zone. The convective zone is a region of the suns where hot and cooler gases circulate in the convection currents. Here, okay, again, the convection zone is a region of the sun where hot and cooler gases circulate in the convection Currents. So now, let's proceed to the uh, three layers of the sun's atmosphere. Let's proceed to the photosphere. Here. This is, this part, this part is a photosphere. The photosphere is the lowest part of the sun's atmosphere. Here, this is the lowest part of the sun's atmosphere. This photosphere is belong to the sun's atmosphere. So, atmosphere region. So, now, let's proceed to the chromosphere. Here. layer is the chromosphere here this is the chromosphere here the red one the chromosphere is a uh, the chromosphere emits a reddish glow as superheated hydrogen burns off so that's the chromosphere also the chromosphere it can only be seen during the lunar eclipse of the sun just above the photosphere now let's proceed to the outer part of the sun's atmosphere the the corona yes a name corona meaning crown the corona is the outer part of the sun. It is, uh, it can only be seen during total lunar eclipse of the sun. Again, the corona, it can only be seen during a total lunar eclipse of the sun. Here, this is the corona. The corona, in the corona, as gases cool, they become the solar winds so that's the sixth layer of the sun so what are the six layers of the sun again okay the core radiation zone convection zone photosphere chromosphere and the corona so that's the sixth layer of the sun so any questions so far none
So let's proceed to why the sun is very important to us. So why is it important? Why? Because the sun allow us to live on earth. The sun allow us to see everything around us. Yes, and the sun give us heat and light because the sun is always burning. Also, the sunlight of the sun is one of the most important element needed by the plant to grow. Because the sun or the plant uses the sun's energy to produce food through a process of what we call photosynthesis. And a class, can you imagine our earth without the sun? No, because our earth without the sun is there will be darkness, there would be no heat, and there would be no light. Our ocean, our water will freeze and nothing could survive. Yes, any questions so far? Okay, none. So class, let me ask you, will you enumerate the layers of the sun? Janelle, very good. The core, the radiative zone, the convective zone, the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. Very good. Now, I need six volunteers to come here in front. What you're going to do, you're going to get a word from me and you're going to paste to its correct places, okay? John? Okay, so let's check if your answer is correct. Wow, all of you got the correct answer. Very good. Now, uh, let me know if you really understand our topic today. So class, is our sun is a star? Yes, Mayfield? Yes, and it is the only star in the solar system. Next question. Uh, what is the sun made of? Yes, Holiada. Very good. It is a ball of gas and mostly hydrogen and helium. So class, why is the sun is very important? Yes, Laoyog. Yes, because... The sun provide us light, giving heat and light. Now, uh, in your science notebook, write one, uh, one paragraph essay about what is the importance of the sun. I will only give you five minutes to answer. Done? Okay. Now, class, I have here a questionnaire and I am going to distribute it to all of you and what you're going to do you're going to answer what is being asked and please read and follow the instructions okay I will only give you 10 minutes to answer done okay pass your paper Okay, class, in your assignment notebook, write at least five benefits that we get from the sun. Again, in your assignment notebook, write at least five benefits that we get from the sun. Okay, class dismissed. Goodbye, class. Goodbye.